Hey, it's AP, and today we're taking down an Imperial Shield Generator. Check it out. All right, so we're not really taking down a shield generator on the forest moon of Endor, but we are building a prop replica of the proton grenade used by Han Solo and the rebel ground troops uh, in their effort to blow up the shield generator. Spoiler alert at the end of Return of the Jedi. Uh, I picked up this kit from Wanawanga. I found them on the replica prop forum uh, and they had a killer proton grenade kit that they were selling with very accurate parts actually. Uh, I'll leave a link to their description below. So let's crack this open. I probably should have covered my address. All right, so inside the box we have these beautiful, beautiful blowouts of the uh, of the kit here. The, uh, yeah, Return of the Jedi Endor Bunker Bomb Exploded View from Wana Wanga. This is, this detail is awesome. It shows all the different views, how to put it all together. I may put it, I may put some electronics in. So those are the, uh, the instructions. We also have, what is this, what is this? We have a few remarks. Yeah, so what's really cool about this kit, uh, it was reverse engineered in 3D from auction pictures. So in, I believe the summer of 2021, there was a prop store auction and they were auctioning off one of the screen used uh, proton grenades from Return of the Jedi. And of course they had all these beautiful detailed photographs that they put on the auction site. And so this maker, uh, Roy, took those pictures and created a 3D modeled kit, uh, which is really cool. So let's see, before painting, let's get into the kit we have. So we'll start with the 3D printed pieces first. Uh, so we have here, this was made, I believe, I think it was printed in resin. I don't think it was cast. And uh, so you have the body here, and then we have the base. And this goes on top, and uh, well, there you go. <laughs> you, you, you practically have it completed. So these are the resin pieces that will be, we'll sand them a little bit, give them a light sanding, prime them, uh, texture them, and then, uh, and then paint them with the flat earth. All right, so we have those. Then we have some Parts. We have uh, stickers, uh, decals. Uh, we have a potentiometer. That's probably to do the uh, the click on the top. This is a cool part, and this is an actual. Um, I, I believe he sourced. Uh, it's a, a photo multiplier dynode. That's what they used in Return of the Jedi. In here we have uh, uh, screws and then some greeblies. This, um, this little piece here, which is, is actually a boot, I think it goes on a boot, it's like a boot stud. It's amazing like how all these props back in the day, and even today, were, were just kind of kit bashed together. Like you, I, I don't know what the actual this was originally, it looks almost like an oil can um, or an oil filter, but it probably was. Uh, they grabbed an oil filter, they grabbed some boot studs, some screws, some uh, gears, some photo, photo, uh, blah, 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 dynode, whatever it is, glued them all together, painted them down, and uh, now you have something from a galaxy far, far away. Uh, that's what's so cool about special effects and, and all this, uh, like how they make this stuff and how they bring it all to life. So put those back. So we have those greeblies. We have, uh, looks like some gears. These are all 3D printed, um, maybe. Uh, again, in resin, some lens covers. Okay. A, uh, a knob. 
And then what is this? This is, I don't know what this is. Okay, cool. So let's see, let's start putting this together, shall we? I gave the resin parts a light sanding with 320 grit sandpaper just to smooth out any imperfections and get the surface ready for primer. My kit came with resin and metal boot studs. Now I'm not sure if that was an oops or not, but I just used the metal ones. They're just held on with some CA glue. There's also these small pieces of aluminum which go on top of the slider switches. To shape them, just bend them over the slider. You can then glue them down after you paint the slider black. I primed with my go-to Vallejo Black. Just make sure your primer is good for plastic and resin. The grenade is textured, almost like cast metal. And to get that texture, I sprayed some Gorilla Glue adhesive all over the parts and let it dry. This gave a nice, rough texture for me to paint over. I simply followed Roy's instructions and painted with the XF20 Flat Earth from Tamiya. I think it came out great, although the reference photos show the brown has a tiny, tiny bit of red to it. I'm okay with my version though. I just used some aluminum rub and buff on the gear dial. I then used CA glue on the aluminum wraps over the sliders and clamped them down to get a nice bond. Next I started working on adding the greeblies to the plate, including the potentiometer, the LED lens caps, and screwing down the sliders. Oh, one thing to point out is that the screws used here should be Phillips head, not flat head. The flat head screws are only for the photo diode thingies on the outside. Phillips head for all the internal pieces. The metal studs were tight, so I used a small drill bit to widen the hole a bit. Even with that though, I needed to use pliers to screw them in place fully. Finally, I used a two millimeter drill bit to screw a hole through the top of the dial. This just took the smallest amount of elbow grease. Once through, I was able to screw on the painted switch and gear. I'll do a wiring diagram for this because it was a little complicated. So all the black cables uh, from the LEDs and the battery go on this left one. The red cables from the LED go to the middle one. And then the red from the battery go to this one. And what is now happening is when I turn on the switch, we have red LEDs and they actually dim, which is really cool. So, and I just pop these now into here and I'll probably hot glue them in so they don't move. But as you can see here now, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we just screw the plate inside the body using the Phillips head screws. These photo dynode things were really hard to shape and I actually broke one by accident. Just go slow, use the body of the grenade as a guide and uh, oh, widen the holes with a two to two and a half millimeter drill bit because they're really tiny for the screws. Once you're ready, use the flathead screws to mount. The screw that holds the metal plate to the bottom didn't sit flush, so I used a half inch drill bit to create a countersink. I 
I just used Tamiya flat yellow and red for the paint. In hindsight, I wish I had airbrushed it on. It would have just looked sharper. The very last thing was to install a 9 volt battery holder. I found this on the Thingiverse and I'll leave a link below. It's simply hot glued to the inside of the body. And I call this project complete. This kit is awesome. I am so happy I found this on the RPF. Big shout out to Roy at Wanawanga for creating this awesome kit. It is super easy to put together. Uh, the electronics are very basic, as you saw. I mean, it's literally a switch. You turn on the light, and there you go. Uh, I might go rewatch Return of the Jedi to see if uh, they are blinking LEDs, and uh, if the mood strikes me, I'll come back and rewire these with flashing LEDs or blinking LEDs. But otherwise, I'm super happy with this. Oh, and the other thing I'll do, I'm gonna figure out how to make a magnet out of this piece so I can stick it to the wall which will be really fun. Although I don't have metal walls in my office, so that could be kind of a waste of time. Uh, so make sure you check out Wanawanga, the kit. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, I will also uh, leave descriptions uh, or links to the nine volt battery holder that I put in here as well, which was super cool. And uh, maybe if, I, uh, if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll do a wiring diagram for the potentiometer, uh, which again is pretty straightforward. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a like, share the video. We want to get the word out about this awesome kit from Roy. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's make his uh, holiday season bright by selling a hundred of these kits. Uh, sorry, Roy, in advance if that puts you way over production capacity. <laughs> Until next time, stop planning and start making something. Thanks for watching.